You know, I've been hunting really, you know, since it was, I was legally allowed to hunt and I hunted, you know, started hunting deer hunting with my uncle. And, uh, you know, in the early years, that's really all we did. We deer hunted and, and that was hunting. I met uh, some guys in, in my high school that they got, were into it, were into hunting. And, uh, you know, John, who, who we were hunting with today, you know, he used to do a lot of rabbit hunting with his dad. And I never even thought about rabbit hunting at the time because, you know, here especially, we were deer hunting and we never saw rabbits. You know, they just weren't, you know, you see them in the neighborhoods, but you don't see them in the woods because they are pretty concealed. And I really didn't think we were gonna find any, but we started stomping around kick a bush and one comes running out and it was kind of it was amazing you know and that was the first one that uh, first time we ever rabbit hunted back then that was before we had dogs and for years we would go out and kick the brush and go down the you know the power cuts and anywhere where you could find them and uh, it was it was really fun but I, we always I always wanted a dog and you always kind of thought it was almost like you know something way in the future and you know eventually you know we got them and uh, you know, that really transforms the whole thing. You know, that makes rabbit hunting a whole, it's really become an obsession once you bring the dogs into it. I always wanted hunting dogs and I didn't know, you know, what kind it would be. And, and uh, when we sort of settled on beagles and we got this little puppy, you know, it's just amazing to have an animal that their favorite thing to do is your favorite thing to do. And that's really cool to share that, you know, with these, with these, little, uh, these little dogs and, um, to me, you know, you get so, there's nothing more amazing than seeing this little puppy hit its first rabbit track and start to squirm and squeal and just start barking uncontrollably like it's possessed, you know, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing to see. And even today, I mean, I never get sick of it. We're out there and those dogs just explode into, you know, a squalling, screaming, you know, chaos, barking. It's really exciting. I think a lot of people, when you think of hunting with beagles, you think of a big pack of dogs. And there's no question that you can hunt with a big pack. You also can hunt with one dog. I mean, for years, I just had my one dog, Winnie, for four seasons, and we did very well. And sometimes one dog can be better. You know, you'd rather have one good dog than a bunch of not good dogs. Um, you know, it's not always more the merrier. You know, in some days when the scenting is really tough, you know, lots of dogs can kind of, you know, they almost, compete over the little that is there and they, they can actually cause problems. Now we have two um, and that's a really nice compromise because more dogs I think definitely leads to jumping more rabbits. So you have less downtime between runs, but once the run is going, um, you know, one good dog can probably run a rabbit as well as, as a group and you know, oftentimes. Um, but I definitely would say don't, you know, get discouraged and think you can't rabbit hunt because you need a big pack. I mean, one beagle can be a lot of fun. And I mean, we've hunted, there were times we'd have seven guys and one beagle, and we had a great day. Hounds have a lot of strong instincts, and a lot of what a beagle does, they're born with. And it's more about directing them towards the quarry that you want them to track. There isn't a lot of training in sort of the classic obedience sense. You want a dog to be able to come when it's called, for safety reasons, obviously, and you want a dog to track only rabbits. And those are really the two main things that you want to train the beagle. But as far as how to track, you know, we could never teach a hound how to track. They just, they're, they're the world experts on tracking, but it's fun and they all have their strengths. And that's part of the fun of, of hounds is you can sort of see their strengths and weaknesses and they can work together as a team. Um, and that's really cool, you know? And Winnie's much more experienced, but she definitely, I mean, she's thinking, you can really see her brain working about when she loses a rabbit, she knows that that rabbit most time doesn't disappear. And when it, we had one rabbit go in a hole today and when it went in the hole, they tracked it right to that hole and put their head in that hole and whined and barked. And so, you know, you kind of know, you know, there's a difference between a, uh, losing a rabbit, really losing it in a hole and just momentarily losing it for a moment. And you want a dog that when the rabbit does something tricky, it backtracks, it jumps to the side, it, it does crazy things. You want a dog that is thinking and is gonna make circles and refine that rabbit. Because really the goal of, of a beagle is to just keep that rabbit moving. 
you know, as long as that rabbit is moving, you you are very likely to have an opportunity to, to get that rabbit as it comes back around. And that's really the whole game. Keep the rabbit moving and make noise while they do it so you kind of know where the rabbit was. You know, when you hear the rat when you hear the beagle barking, it's really saying that's where the rabbit was 15, 20, 30 seconds ago. You know, and so you kind of have to come up with your mind, okay, well, if the rabbit was, you know, 80 yards that way coming in this direction 20 seconds ago i better get ready because he's going to be here any second um and that's all part of the game and it really is i mean it is like a game you know and you saw it today we're running around kind of trying to strategize you know do we stay put and wait for it to come do we try to cut it off um and that's that's pretty unique you know in hunting to have that kind of real-time chess match where you're you know with one animal you know this isn't like we're we, we had one rabbit in the morning. We ran for a couple hours, maybe. You know, that's pretty unique that one little rabbit gave us a couple hours of recreation trying to cut this thing off in this dense thicket. That's pretty unique in hunting, you know, where that, you know, it's not just this one. Because when we were kids and we'd kick rabbits up, you'd walk all day, you'd kick a rabbit up, you'd shoot it. That whole interaction was momentary. But when you have, when you bring the hounds into the equation, it can be this extended chess match that's really exciting. And that's kind of, it's hard to describe, but to me, that's what makes this type of hunting so addictive. You know, as much as we loved kick and brush back when we were younger, you know, this is this becomes like a real, you know, challenge, you know, uh, game that you're playing. You know, for training, we run them all year. And so even when you don't have a gun in your hand, you know, just trying to kind of cut them off and see them and see what the dogs are doing is fun. And, and I think hound hunting is one of the few types of hunting where you have that kind of catch and release element, you know, and it's cool. It's very different, you know. You know, I do think there there's definitely a generational divide. I think that people used to think that hunting dogs had to be, you know, kept outside and only stimulated through hunting or they wouldn't be good. And, and I mean, I think that over time, I, th I mean, these are both house dogs. They sleep in my house, they sleep on my couch and they're great hunting dogs, you know? Um, you know, they're not perfect, but I don't think that's because they're house dogs, <laughs> you know? Personally, I think beagles do very well outside. I think if a dog is run hard every other day and sleeps in the kennel for the next day, they're probably pretty happy. Um, but I also think that they make great house dogs. They're the smallest hunting dogs, so that's a nice thing. Um, they're very manageable and, and uh, you can have both. You can have a great house dog that's your buddy and hunts really hard. And, and I've seen that time and time again. There's no question about it. And, um, and I personally think, and this, I think that the house dogs, you know, you, you, they're a little, I think they might be a little smarter, a little more keyed into human language and emotion. They kind of get you because you're interacting with them all day, every day. I think the Beagle is a great option for someone who wants a hunting dog and, you know, wants a smaller dog, you know, and, and rabbit hunting is super accessible. You know, I mean, a lot of parts of the country, there aren't wild game birds, unfortunately, but there's pretty much rabbits everywhere. Um, and that's pretty unique. No matter where you are, you can, you could do this. And it, there, I can't think of a much more fun type of hunting. This property, it is kind of funny, you know, now we sit here, you know, about 30 years old and it's funny to think back on these old friends that I've been hunting with since I was a teenager and coming back to this place that was my, you know, my grandfather got this land, you know, back in the, in the 50s or 60s and to kind of be here at this place where I shot my first rabbit, you know, with my oldest hunting buddy and uh, you know, and now we, we're staying in this cabin that we've kind of you know dreamed about having for years, and finally did it. You know, after all this time, and uh, no, it's special. You know, and hunting, I think, it has that perfect combination of it, it brings in all that tradition, and all you know, it's the kind of thing you can do for a lifetime. You know, it's it's something that you can carry with you and, and carry these relationships forever. And uh, you know, there aren't a lot of things in life like that that you can enjoy as a kid and enjoy as an older guy. And, um, and, and with people of all walks of life, I mean, it's really, it's a special thing, you know, and this place is, this place is a, is a special place. And I hope we'll be hunting here for, you know, I hope my kids get to hunt here and my grandkids and, uh, 
it's uh, it's 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 a beautiful place and uh, an amazing place to spend a day, for sure.